Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today we are doing a July 2022 plan with me um, in my personal size rings. I will go ahead and start by showing you all the inserts I'm using today. Um, to begin with, the front has this freebie dashboard from ganchiplans.com shop. It's insert 59. Um, and if you just search for that number, you'll find it there totally free, available for you to use for all 2022. Uh, the insert on the inside, this is insert 61, which is labeled, I think, just uh, undated month on two pages, I think. Um, I've never used this one. I don't think in any size yet, um, so I'm excited to. Definitely not in personal yet. And then on the back, I needed to put something on the back, so I put insert 18, which is this inventory log. I use this for tracking my breast milk. Um, as I pump and get my freezer stash ready to go back to work at the very beginning of August. So this is my last month of maternity leave. Um, I'm just going to start with a little bit of decoration. I, uh, I always end up wanting to do like a patriotic sort of inspired theme for July because of, you know, 4th of July and we just came off of like Memorial Day and Flag Day, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, yeah. Fourth of July, Independence Day, blah, blah, blah. And then like the next week, it doesn't feel quite as patriotic anymore and you're still stuck with your red, white, and blue. But here we are. Um, I probably should just do like unicorns because that's my daughter's birthday theme and that's her birthday month. Um, these little month stickers are from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. And they're very, very tiny. July is just going to go smack here in the middle. Um, when I don't label it, generally I think of a grid monthly as starting on Sunday. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what it is here as well. So we've got Friday, Saturday at the top here, and I'm only going to do the numbers here. This is basically just duplicating what's on the other side of the page, to be honest, but go two, three, going nice and chunky, um, a sort of, I don't know. An aesthetic choice, I suppose. Trying to stay the same size for each number, but I don't feel like I'm doing a great job. This is my Zebra Mild Liner, by the way. The original ones. I also have the brush tip, which have a finer point on this side. Three, just practicing counting and then every time I come around to a new week I confirm my counting by sevens and then have to try to remember 30 days at September blah 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 oh gosh yeah see here my problem was that I was accidentally printed out June and then on on here but no, July actually rolls around into the next page, but I'm trying to think, um, the next line. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it off. Like, I remember that July has 31 days. I'm not going to forget it on my weeklies. I know that August 1st is a Monday because that's the day I'm going back to work. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to see if anybody on Instagram notices when I post photos of this. Um, all right, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I think... I have picked out a couple of stickers that I'm thinking are going to be pretty. Um, maybe, maybe. I'm going to go for the, I can find it. the washi tape that I had picked out. No, I'll go for a light blue. I think. Um, sort of across the middle here. I designed these for oh I do remember what I designed these for I was like I thought I had set these boxes aside for um for like projects or something but no I didn't and I know what I set them aside for these are for last month and next month calendars so uh, I know that I will put like here Monday the first is here one two so this is for August more numbering to do. I 
feel very prepared, obviously. And that's for sure, I have not used this insert before because I think I would have remembered that this is for August, so I can at a glance quickly see what days of the week things are, as well as June on the other side. 8, 29, 30, and August also has 31 days. And then June um, started, I'm going to do this backwards. June started on a Wednesday. I'm looking at, sorry, I'm looking at May. I just had it sitting over here. I can also pop this open and look at June in my actual planner. June started on a Wednesday, so. Here we go. I get so nervous talking and writing at the same time, but the fact that I do it is all down to laziness because if I can continue to talk the entire time that I am writing, then I will not have to do quite as much work in the edit. Seven, eight, twenty-nine, thirty. There we go. You know what? I will go ahead and put some more month stickers because I have them. I, it's going to take me years literally to get through these, so I may as well just, um, oh, I know, I will do a little header, a little, little blue stripe for those, right, because I did the red stripe at the top of the blue numbers, and do the blue stripe at the top of the red numbers. Here we go. June. Everything's sticking to my arms because it's very warm in here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to remove the sounds of the ceiling fan from the audio recording, but it is very warm in here. Because it's summer! Alright. June, July, August. Beautiful. Goals? Um, I... I haven't decided how I'm going to word things yet, but I'm basically just going to put like some inspirational words here. Things like, um, I should probably do it with, yeah, this is the finer point. Uh, basically things about appreciating the time that I have off with my girls, um, doing some tidying around the house as well, you know, while I can, trying to like prioritize that, even though it's much easier to just sit underneath a napping baby, I should like strap him to my chest and get, to bu get busy with tidying. Um, it's just very uncomfortable to wear a baby in very hot weather. So we'll see. Um, there we go. So events, tasks, I'm going to grab that off from my planner. But first, I did pick something that I think will fit here. Um, I just have to grab it. Here we go. This is from more happy some happy planner stickers. Um, this is the gardening section, and I'm pretty sure that this should fit across nicely. Yeah, that fits pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I'm gonna kind of move it up just a tad, so kind of make it clear that I know that it's a little bit wider. Um, it says gardening journal. Um, it may or may not be a gardening journal. So we'll see. I think I could probably use these sections for something, but I'm not sure what these two would be. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping for inspiration, but let me just sort of pop a little color on top here. There we go. So now we do the actual planning portion, which is uh, off camera here, my future long. July. We've got, um, I just have a little bit of washi tape to use for this. We have a couple of things that are like happening over multiple days. We have Comic Con. Do I want to do that? No. You know what? No, I'm going to do it along here. No. That's not right. 
was thinking this was dated. It's not. All right. I thought I had this super like ready to go. I knew exactly where I was going to put everything, but clearly I don't. I'm just going to put things in. I'm going to put them in the order that they happen. They're not in the order they happen on my future log. Um, tasks. School uniform. We have some pieces that we got at the rummage sale, but we still need to pick up a couple more pieces. Um, this is the first year that our daughter will be in a uniform. It is adorable. School supplies. As you do, I think she needs a new lunchbox because last year's is super grungy. I ran it through the wash and it just didn't happen. So let's see. The second is birthday party. It's also her birthday, but I'm not going to forget that. Then the third is a friend's party. I guess we are officially in kids' birthday party, the, the kids' birthday party um, season of our lives. Uh, let's see. Yes, the sixth, we have pediatrician appointments at 3.30. And at 3.50, then I have to get a musician record to the school once it's updated. I'm kind of pulling this off out of order, like I said, and so I don't want to forget anything to be extra careful of. Uh, let's see, on the 9th, we have another birthday party. I don't know if you can hear the baby in the next room. He wants to eat, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. Um, the 11th through the 15th is VBS. And the 20th through the 24th, yeah, is Comic-Con. And then we also have some things that I'm going to find here in where I have my extra project pages. I want to try to submit some vegetables to the fair. Um, I have that listed here somewhere. Here it is. So the registration dates, I'll just put here. Um, uh, yeah, okay. 13, 18, and 25. You just register what you're going to bring the night before. So I'll put those in. If I, you know, have stuff to submit, then I will register it on those dates and then, you know, just have, I'll know. I'll put it on my weekly to go the next day and drop them off. So that's the idea there. And I think that's basically it. Um, I will, I think I might just use this as a garden journal and just kind of do some jots and notes about what's going on. And um, we have, Things are really hopping off in a big way this month. We've got a lot of cucumbers and a lot of tomatoes now. So I'm very happy about that. I'm hoping the melons, we just got our first melon um, on the vine, which I hand pollinated. So hopefully that worked and we will have a melon soon. So that's exciting. I will figure out how I want to word these goals and sit down with it and do a little bit of, you know, thoughtful consideration um, and write down some words to inspire me. Um, and then I can continue to add things to these lists if they come up. Mostly I'm just going to be getting my daughter ready for school and myself ready to go back to work. Um, so obviously those are projects and that's one of these goals or maybe two of those goals. The other one is just sort of enjoying the time off while I still have it. Everything's going pretty good, but um, as I mentioned, the baby's hungry. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, not super long um, because 
yeah, it didn't need to be. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope that your summer is going well, um, that you are enjoying what you get, and uh, hopefully what you get is not as hot as it gets here in Southern California. I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Thank you.